appreciate it. A lot. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you got it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I wish I had a camera. Somebody, thank you. Don, it's great to see you. I, I, uh, where's where's uh, Mary LaHammer? Somebody told me she was, Mary, I told you a few years ago, there's no crying in politics. I'm having a tough time today. I walked up and I can't believe the turnout. I mean, the, the rain and, <laughs> well, we better hurry. It looks like the Lord is telling us that you don't get, shut up, Emmer, get it done and let's get going. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. The announcement by Congresswoman Bachman last week certainly caught us all by surprise. Michelle has served the citizens of the 6th District well over the last six and a half years and will undoubtedly continue to do so over the next 19 months. Thank you. I want to compliment the Congresswoman and her staff on the great work they do on our behalf in the U.S. House of Representatives she will be missed. Those of us who have lived here for years know the 6th Congressional District has a history of strong representation. I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize the service of former Congressman Mark Kennedy. His tireless efforts on behalf of our communities is a model for any elected representative. Now over the last week I have been humbled by you. The many friends, activists, former colleagues, and staff that have reached out to encourage me to run for Congress. Conversations have been great, especially since most of you ask, well, what does Jackie think? <laughs> I know. That's because you know it's a team decision for us. Jackie and I have had thoughtful and thorough discussions about running for another office. After careful consideration and discussion with our children, Jackie and I are thrilled to announce that I am entering the race for Congress to serve the people of the 6th Congressional District of the state of Minnesota. All right. All right. Is this NPR? Is that what I did? I didn't mean it. It wasn't intentional, I promise. Whose is this? You want to fix it quick? Jackie, why don't you, oh, it's Mary LaHammer. Why don't you hold it for Mary? We'll just, yeah, all right. All right. I have to tell you, though, the decision to run was not made lightly. As we know firsthand, family and friends make all kinds of sacrifices during a campaign. But when I look around at the direction that our country is going and the impact it is having on the daily lives of families in our 6th district, in our state, and in our great nation, I have to tell you, I have never felt more compelled in my life to serve. It seems like every day we hear about another out of control Washington DC power grab. The IRS has targeted grassroots groups based on their political leanings. The Justice Department secretly obtained two months of telephone records of reporters and then tried to tell Congress it was legal. We've heard bureaucrats stay we've heard of bureaucrats staying in thirty five hundred dollar a night rooms, presidential suites, paying for seventeen or paying seventeen thousand dollars for portraits of Michael Jordan and thousands more on a happiness expert while taking billions from middle class Americans to pay for all of it. Are these really the people we put in charge of revenue? Is it okay that we pass budgets that never balance and ask for yes votes on legislation to find out what's in it? No. no. We should ask ourselves, is this the legacy we want to leave to our children? No. Obviously, the answer is, n is no, and the time to act is now. During the last five years of recession in Main Street coffee shops and around kitchen tables all across this nation, Americans have been asking tough questions, wondering why Washington struggles with simple math, common sense, and even the concept of right and wrong. Recent polls show that one in five Americans do not trust their government to do what's right, and a clear majority of Americans believe this country is heading in the wrong direction. It's really not hard to understand why. Billions of dollars in borrowed money being paid in kickbacks under the guise of stimulus, 
administration officials stonewalling questions about what actually happened in one of our American consulate overseas, government agencies spending millions entertaining bureaucrats at conventions and then targeting for audits those who believe we are giving them too much of our hard-earned money. I'm running for Congress to change the culture in Washington and restore Americans' trust in our government. No, Jackie did not just say smile, but I... <laughs> Churchill once said, we contend that for a nation to tax itself into prosperity is like a man standing in a bucket and trying to lift himself up by the handle. I couldn't agree more. We need to restore the traditional role of the federal government, and I think you know what I mean. We need our elected representatives and bureaucrats in Washington to leave businesses and people to do what they do best. Create, innovate, and prosper once again. Yeah. Thousands of jobs have been created by innovative and hardworking entrepreneurs across the 6th District. You know who you are. Many of you are here today. Let's get excessive regulation and taxes out of the way and allow them to create thousands more. Our government's authority was created by our founding fathers' faith in individual rights and economic freedom. We need to bring these ideals back and restore the federal government to the role it was originally intended. No doubt, my announcement has already created a couple of new jobs. I'm sure the Alliance for a Bitter Minnesota have already added staff with more Rockefeller money to once again sling mud at me. But that's not going to slow us down. I believe the 6th Congressional District deserves better than that. And I will focus, yeah, we deserve better than that. Hey, Jeff. I will focus this campaign on a positive message. You gotta run for something, not against people. We are going to run on a message of reforming Washington and improving the lives of everyday people. In the coming months I ask all of you, please join our campaign and help us. Get your friends, get your family, get your neighbors, everybody you can think of. We must all be dedicated to keeping the 6th District firmly in Republican hands. Hey Dan. I'll be traveling the district spending time on the main streets of our communities, on our farms, at our schools, in our factories and warehouses, meeting with all residents of the 6th district. And I'm running to represent our values. That's right, our values, our district, and most importantly, all of the citizens of Anoka, Forest Lake, St. Cloud, Elk River, Waconia, Delano, and every city and town that make the 6th district the place that I'm proud to call home. Join us to bring the spirit of Main Street to Washington. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for everything you've done. Thanks, guys. How are you doing? Thanks. Thanks.